Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. I have here one of those tablet keyboards. You've seen these. They work with certain tablets who have a certain edge connector and they use these pogo pins. And pogo pins are kind of groovy. We use them for making test uh, equipment. Look, you can see because they're kind of springy. Gr nice stuff. Now that tablet doesn't seem to be working and in fact the whole USB on that tablet seems duff, so I kind of—I don't think it's the keyboard, but it's kind of nice keyboard with a little touch thing in there. I don't want to throw it away, I want to experiment with it a little bit. So I've sort of been feeling around here to see if I can detect where there's a wire. There's a wire here that goes from this pogo pin into the unit. It feels like maybe it's a ribbon cable, so I'm a little bit loath to mess with it too much. But I thought for a bit of fun, I'll take this USB wire, which I actually damaged before doing a sort of strain gauge test, and I'm going to solder some USB onto here and then try plugging it into a PC just to see if I can pick it up. So because I have no idea what these pins are, I'm just going to have to go for a guess. And there's too many pins here, which is kind of common because if you use micro USB, there is actually an extra pin, which is an ID pin. So I'm just going to go totally blind and just try to work out. So these two pins are common. So there's a good likelihood that these two pins will be like ground, for example, and then this will be power and then the two other pins there will be data. I'm just going to go away and get a little spec from the USB and see if we can figure out what this is. So if we use this diagram, if we use this diagram, which is a micro B connector, you can see these pin one here, and then you've got RX, TX, and then ground on five. So on five are ground, so these two are possibly the ground in our case, and then that would make this the TX, RX, and VCC. So we're going to try to hook those up. You've got different colours in a USB cable, you've seen these, these are quite standard colours. So we're going to try to work those out as we go along. Let's zoom in. I'm going to solder straight to the pogo pins. I don't envision I'm ever going to use this in an actual tablet. So there's a chance this one's the ground. They're non connected. As we've already tested, these two are actually are connected together in the So these are ready for soldering. Let's work out. So we're going to have ground this end and power the other end. And we're going to work out the D plus and the D minus, the two data lines in between. So let's find our ground wire here. Ground is black. Some tweezer action. It's not a very uh, nice wire to work with, but that's fine. Manufacturer didn't intend us to work with it, so it's not their fault. So we've got to decide what are we going to use. D plus generally is green and So we're going to put it here. So that's it nicely roughly soldered. I'm just going to go and try it in the PC. No joy there. So what I'm going to do is swap the green and the white wires around and then if they don't work Swap the other two as well. Fortunately, USB tends to be quite forgiving. Okay. 
my wire is starting to really delaminate now. Okay, let's try again. USB device was recognized that, well, wasn't recognized. It was recognized as in the machine kind of did a did, did a did, but it says it wasn't happy with it. So let's see, maybe this is the final iteration. These are really, really manky now. <laughs> Whatever I do, I'll have to resolve these later. I just had a look on the shelf while I was up and found the box for this tablet. This is a Lynx tablet, so again, probably from eBuyer. So if you've got a Lynx tablet and it no longer responds to its keyboard because its USB controller's blown out, I have failed everybody. So I've tried that several times, different combinations, none of them worked. It's seeing the insertion, but not seeing the actual keyboard itself as ever. Thanks for watching.